for this last and final addition to your edit, if you want to go for the extra points, is to add in a photo of a person and make this uh, a portrait uh, along with the twirl effect. So to start with, bring in any portrait. You could do yourself or you could do someone else. Then you can resize things while it's in the transform mode just by taking a corner and going up or down and go at an angle. You can decide how you want that part to look. Then what we're going to do is have Photoshop cut out the person. To do that, you want to click on the top menu option to the select and then go to subject. Now let Photoshop do some thinking and eventually it should do a pretty good job at cutting the person out. If you don't have a photo of somebody up against a plain background, this can be a little bit harder. So maybe use a photo of somebody that's up against a plain background. Then we're just going to click this option at the bottom of your layers palette where we can add a layer mask and it cuts them out. Here's where the fun begins. We're going to be taking the blending option for the person layer, which is right here. This is where you can change the blending option. And I want you to take that and change it to one of the other blending modes. Decide what you think looks interesting. In the end, you might end up only seeing more of just an outline of the person. But depending on the type of blending option you use, you might see more or less of them. For example, linear light actually looks pretty good. In my mind, it still shows most of the face, but I like how it just keeps kind of a darker type of look for the photo. You can certainly move the person around however you'd like. Beyond that, you can resize them again by doing Control T. You can bring them in to this twirl effect and have a multi-layered finished image. So once you do that, if you're happy with how it looks, you'll just go up to File, Save a Copy, keep it as JPEG, toss it somewhere where you know where it is, and you are done.